Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to set up RabbitMQ, one of the message queues in Rust. For the purpose, we'll be just publishing and consuming a simple message just to show you guys how this is done in Rust. And we'll be spinning a Docker container of RabbitMQ to uh, publish and consume our messages. So let's get started. First of all, open your terminal. And here we have to spin up the Docker container. So if I do Docker PS, as you can see, no instance running so we'll just do docker run minus d and minus p for port binding and then the port so 5672 bind to 5672 and then rabbit mq latest as the image then we press enter and as you can see now with the docker ps as you can see the container is up and running just three seconds ago now we'll just close the terminal move to our cargo terminal file and add a client dependency so we'll use mequip with the latest version and then just build you can also use this command cargo add mequip in terminal to add this dependency in your project so once the dependency is added we'll move to main and i'll just publish and consume messages from here so first of all, we'll create mutable connection. And we'll say connection insecure open and mequip. So you can set up this connection according to where uh, RabbitMQ is running for you. For me, it's on localhost, and I have not created any explicit user with any password. So I'll just use guest guest as the default user, and it's on localhost, and the port is five six seven two. But if you have any users or anything, just put all things here. And once we have that, and since we are using question mark, so let's expect and return the error as well, if any. Let me quit result s unit. Okay. So we have our connection here. And now we will create a channel. So we'll say channel connection dot open channel and here you can pass any details you want uh, as the channel id or something but i'll pass none and now since we have a channel we'll create a exchange for publishing the messages so we'll say exchange dot direct and here we will pass channel so once we have exchange, we'll create a queue. And so this queue is kind of same concept as we have in a topics in Kafka. So we create a hello. And then if you want to pass any queue declare options, I'll just pass queue declare options as default. And once we have that, we have the queue and now we will publish our first message so we'll say exchange publish publish and we'll say new and here we will uh, pass it as uh, basically unsigned it or yep and then we will say hello world and then we will pass our name or routing key so I will name as hello and now since our message is published let's go ahead and consume our message so let's get to consumption so we will just say let consumer queue dot consume again uh, consumer option as default so as you can see I have consumer now so I will just go ahead and do for I comma message in consumer dot receiver dot iter dot numerate so what we'll do is we will try to match message and then we'll say let's return something from here at the end we'll just do consumer 
we'll just do connection dot close for the error to go away and because we were not returning previously anything and now quickly we'll just get our messages so we'll say consumer message delivery and delivery and here if it's delivery of message then we'll say body string from uft luzi and we'll pass the delivery dot body and that's our message so we'll say print ln and then uh, we can say received uh, message number and then with body and then we print the body so what we do is we print i and body so we have our message and then we go ahead and send uh, ACK so we'll say consumer ACK delivery so delivery is acknowledged and if it's not a consumer delivery message or anything other than that then we will just print and we'll say consumer and date and we will print other and we'll just break out of here one thing that we can do is to break the consumer we can also do uh, praise control c to exit so basically if we go from the start what's happening is we created a connection and since we just pin up on local the rabbitmq image so we are connecting to that we didn't create any custom users or anything so we are just using the default and then we created a channel we created a queue with the name as hello we publish our first message hello world and then we have our consumer consuming the messages and we say control c to exit and then this is our consumer consumer continuously running and listening to the messages so let's get go ahead and probably run it for the very first time and see if it's working so we open our terminal and we just do cargo run dash dash white okay as you can see it prints praise control c to exit uh, because first we print this and we publish message here and then we publish our message as hello world so it prints received message number zero from here as the index and we receive as hello world now if we press control c as you can see the program ended so similarly you can publish any number of messages you want you can even create separate consumer and publisher file and start consuming and publishing messages but i just wanted to uh, show you guys how to set it up if you have any questions feel free to leave in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching